This doll's house has been in our family for several decades now. My dad made it for my sister and I. We then restored it for our daughter. And now I want to do a little bit of renovation. I want to give it a bit more life around the front. I'm not going to touch the doll's house itself. But I do want to give it a bit of fencing and a bit of magic. So if you're new here, I'm Jane and I create the magical world of Matilda and Josephine through my art. I also do behind the scenes videos and at the moment I am just enjoying creating a magical world around this house. Because I don't want to touch the doll's house itself, I've got this piece of balsa wood that I cut to fit snugly around the front step and that way I can add any bits of decoration that I want and then if I want to move everything away from the doll's house I can take it away in one big piece. I chose to use gravel on the base and thanks to my lack of green fingers I have plenty of gravel from my dead cacti collection. One day I do hope to improve my gardening skills because it is nice to have a nice garden and a greenhouse full of lovely plants but until then I shall be carrying on with my art. So I simply just put some glue on the balsa wood and then just sprinkled the gravel onto the wood and that worked out quite nicely. One thing I decided to try and do was mix the glue with the gravel and that was that was a mistake. It, it ended up like when you make these sort of rice crispy treats when they all clumps together and then it was really quite hard to spread out and I thought no it's just quicker to just Sprinkle it on the glue and then be happy. Mm. I've got these little green plants from Hobbycraft and all I needed to do was cut the bottom off so they sat nicely on the gravel. It was a painful process especially when I realised all I had to do was cut the material and then pull the metal rod out. I spent quite a lot of time trying to cut with all different types of cutters and yeah to no avail until I realized what I needed to do it was it was frustrating anyway and then I just glued them in place and used whatever came to hand to keep them in place while they were drying These mushrooms I really loved when I bought them but in all honesty they are a little bit shiny and oversized and they just don't go with the theme that I'm working with. Um, I mean they could have a spell on them so Matilda and Josephine could have increased their size so I think that's okay. Um, I think I might sand them down in the future and paint them so they look a bit more earthy but for now this is where I am. So I already had some of this material so I thought I could use it on the path coming out from the step. In the past I used to make little model houses. I used to buy the kits from a company that I will link down below if I can find the link because they're really really cool. They're really fun to make. Okay, so I left this overnight to dry and now I'm out in the garden and I'm doing the fencing. So I got some railway track from my dad. He was a great um, model railway enthusiast and so I got two sizes, this big one and a smaller one. And I picked the big one, it just looked, it looked the better size. I started with white acrylic paint on the railway track but actually in hindsight I rather would have done black because I ended up doing a sort of darkish green colour. So yeah, in hindsight the white was not a good idea but you know I think I, I think I was sort of thinking maybe the fencing would be a paler colour but not very witchy. So I ended up going with a very dark green because I wanted it to go with the green of the door. I would have liked it to be in the same colour but I didn't end up doing that and I'm really happy with the dark green that it came out with. I only painted on the outside of the railway track because I thought it, it's quite it's a dark railway track anyway so it doesn't actually matter. I'm not going to notice it. Thank you. 
Now this was probably my favourite part, making all the little pots. I still have many ideas of what I want to make. I just used a simple air drying clay, it made life a lot easier. And I made a little um, broomstick, which I still haven't properly stuck together. The handle keeps falling off, so I will get round to that, especially with Halloween coming. I think it will make a nice touch. I think my favourite piece that I made was this little trough. I did have an idea that I wanted something to go on the top of the porch of the house and I had an idea of sort of like a pewter bath style thing. So yeah, I had a go at making that and I actually think it really turned out quite nicely. I love the little feet that I put on there but you'll see later that while I was painting it I did get a little bit overzealous and I actually snapped one of the feet off and I tried to glue it back on um but it's still it's still broken off it, it sits underneath the, the basin or whatever you call it quite well but yeah So I hope to do more content like this of decorating the house and making things as well as my art, as well as my painting. So if you really like this content, do subscribe and do like and comment because it certainly does help me make more stuff and keep making videos. I let those dry overnight and then I painted, well I haven't painted all of them, I've still got some that haven't been painted but I did paint the trough, that was the one thing I really wanted to paint and I have a book, it's an airbrush book that has different metals in it and how to paint them. I'm not sure if I did the best job it with my first time, I wanted to have a sort of an old tin bath or a like pewter thing, I don't know whether you'd have baths in pewter. I'm sure you'd have a tin bath, but anyway.
So this is when I'm glad that we haven't taken care of our garden because we had these long grasses and they've gone dried and they just look lovely and I thought I really want to have lots of dried herbs and things like that in my pots on the front and I just thought yeah it adds to the kind of witchiness that kind of natural um, homegrown feel of this project. So that the gravel didn't look too new and clean, I just dabbed some earthy tones, greens and browns of acrylic paint over it and also one area in any areas where the wood was still bare. My initial plan was to add the fencing straight onto the balsa wood and glue it onto the balsa wood but there was a lot of gravel sort of sticking out and it was quite hard to get off so I thought in the end I would just stick the fencing together on the edges and they were freestanding anyway so it worked actually really well. This is one of the things that I'm really pleased about is I took the smaller railway track and then cutting out several of the sleepers, are they called sleepers? Anyway, I'm assuming they're sleepers, but I cut out the alternating ones and then I just kind of moved them slightly so that they weren't all parallel and then I made a little trellis out of it to put some flowers up. I had bought some pink plastic flowers that I was going to put either in a pot or I thought maybe going up the trellis. I never actually got around to doing it and I'm actually filming the audio now in the first week of September so I really I really have got behind on so many things but I thought actually I could just put some time going up there and I thought actually having herbs and other things like that really really look really nice in the house mixed in with the plastic foliage as well. It took a bit of effort to glue the trellis on because obviously I needed something to keep it upright so I ultimately had to then take it back into the house and lean it up against the doll's house and have and put a peg so that it was holding it in place because I didn't want anything attached to the actual doll's house itself because I wanted to preserve the original doll's house the way my dad had made it. I have another trellis that I've made that I haven't actually stuck to it yet but that will be going up because I will be doing my autumn decorations for the house soon and I'm very excited about that and part of me wants autumn to start on September the 1st as a lot of people do but it's still quite warm here in England and the 22nd is my official autumn time I think especially as I feel like you know it doesn't feel like autumn yet. I bought these little trees from Hornby Railways and I think that's quite sweet considering that I used the railway track for the front of the house. One of them I believe is an oak tree and the other one is an apple tree but they are obviously not the right scale for the house. So I kind of thought well, okay I can pretend that the big tree is just a little tree and then put the apple tree in a little pot so it looks like one of these lovely fruit trees almost like a citrus tree that you'd have in a pot and then I got these lights for Christmas well, I didn't get them for Christmas I bought them for a Christmas decoration and I thought they would be perfect to wrap around the the fence and around the trees and it was quite a huge job I did try it first to do it in front of the house because I thought well it's here now I don't really want to move it but it was it was such a job doing it so I took it outside and it did take quite a lot of work I was trying to twist it round and I was very aware as well that it's quite a thin thing so I don't want to end up breaking it or damaging it because then the lights won't work and it still looked nice with the little leaves 
it was quite a tricky thing but once I'd done it I thought oh it's actually really really good I also wired well not wired I got some thin jewelry wire and just attached the lighting to the wooden base. I didn't really want to have the fence attached to the base, but it just wasn't sitting right because now that it has the, the lights and the leaves on it, I had to do something to make it look like it was actually built properly. Otherwise everything hung up in the air. I still want to put the little plant in a bigger pot. I've got these pots also from my dad's. I got them from his greenhouse, a little, um, oh my God, what are they? Little terracotta pots, I think they are. So I'm going to put the little tree in one of these pots. I think it, it will look really nice. And here it is all put together. I've added a few extra little plastic plants to put in the pots. And I used some thin wire just to make a very, very simple little wreath for the door. And wrap some wire around one of the pots to make a hanging basket. And it is all done. So yeah, I'm just... I'm really really pleased with it especially the lights I think they look really really cool thank you so much for watching I really really enjoyed this project and I'm just chomping at the bit to start the autumn decoration of the house so I hope you want to see that video it will be coming probably in a few weeks hopefully on the 22nd of September anyway thank you again for watching and see you in the next video